All right, uh, dear students, so with that, um, we, we come finally to the uh, energy equation for the turbulent kinetic energy, which becomes um, quite, quite a bit more interesting for us. Um, not that the, the rest is not interesting, it's just uh, the turbulent uh, kinetic energy is, I think, uh, one of the ones that uh, is going to be used uh, quite uh, frequently. And um, it's going to be used uh, for the analysis of the flow. Uh, of uh, turbulent flows, but also for the, for the simulation part. Uh, you see, for example, a lot of um, uh, CFD, computational methods, that are ba based on RANDs, they're using this um, uh, uh, energy equation for the turbulent kinetic energy to, to model the turbulence. So, um, so, we would like to have now a transport equation for the turbulent kinetic energy, K which is one-half ui uj. Sorry, uh, ui ui, so, of course. <clears throat> okay, and uh, essentially the, the energy, this energy equation is uh, derived very similar to, to the mean energy equation. So we to uh, mean energy. So first, um, we are defining a transport equation for the kinetic energy. <coughs> uh, uh, kinetic energy. for E, which is ui ui. So again, this energy is the total energy, the, the mean flow field plus the, uh, the, the turbulent kinetic energy. Before, uh, in the previous lectures, we have derived an, uh, um, an equation for the mean flow part only, where we have uh, averaged these terms. And we were using the Rand's equation to, to derive that. But if you start from the Navier-Stokes equation, and do the same thing. You're just not um, multiplying now with ui, but with uj. So you start with a Navier-Stokes equation, and you multiply with ui. Sorry, uj. Without any averaging applied, then you obtain uh, an energy equation for the for the entire flow field. And then what you do then? You subtract. Uh, mean energy equation. For E. Okay, so this um, uh, essentially we are, we are following the same um, um, the, uh, thing that we've done already for the mean flow field. We're just uh, subtracting then afterwards uh, the mean energy. Uh, this one is going to be quite tedious, and uh, it'll take a. Uh, it's straightforward, but it's um, uh, takes a bit of time, so we're not going to show that all here. If you are, want to have a look how it's done exactly, you can have a look at uh, the exercise five twenty uh, from the textbook, And the solution that is online, there everything is uh, explained uh, over a few pages. I just want to focus now on the result, because the result becomes a bit more, more important. So rather than going through each of these steps, I want you to know how do you derive it. The, the same way that uh, you've done that already for the mean equation, you multiply it with, uh, you, you, uh, with the mean flow field with, uh, with u, and then you're subtracting the, the mean energy, and then you get the following um, equation d k dt plus nabla scalar t prime is equal p minus epsilon. So it's the same um, formulation from, from the textbook. So you have here again the total derivative. You see here the p term again but notice now the sign.
the sign uh, is now positive. That means this is the, the, the term that you can find in both equation that you can find in the mean uh, the, the energy equation for the mean flow field as well as the, the uh, energy equation for the turbulent motions, but with different signs. So that means that energy now coming from the mean flow field is going to be ending up over here. That is, uh, well, the, the, the exciting result that uh, you can find now uh, physical meaning for, for this particular term. I want to write it out again and uh, see how this term, these terms look like. So I have dk dt plus ui dk dxi plus d dxi one half ui uj uj plus ui p prime of a row minus two nu ui srj lowercase srj because it's only acting on the, the, the fluctuating part is equal p minus epsilon. So again, we can do uh, have a look at each of these terms. So this is a change of turbulent kinetic energy and time. This one again is the convective transport. of the turbulent kinetic energy due to the mean flow field. Oops. Okay, and then here you have a triple, uh, triple uh, correlation, ui, uj, uj. So this one is the transport of uh, kinetic energy, uj, uj, due to the turbulent fluctuation itself. to uh, turbulent fluctuations. So it's essentially it's the same if you write out here k as u uh, uj uj. This one is a convective term, this one is essentially also a convective term like that. Here this one's again the pressure work of the fluctuations uh, this one is the diffusion the viscous diffusion of the turbulent kinetic energy then this one we had a already look at at the mean energy this one is a production term production of K due to the mean flow field. This is essentially the energy that's being transferred heading down. And this one is a dissipation. So, um, that again gives you two, two uh, main um, uh, things to do with this equation. So first of all, you can now calculate each of these terms. If you are analyzing a flow, you can, for example, uh, calculate what is the dissipation term, then you can determine, uh, you can give actually a, a value to, to how much uh, energy is dissipated here on, on the turbulent structures. You can give a value on the production term. And we're going to have a look at some flows later how, how these, uh, um, uh, these uh, uh, terms look like in, in a turbulent flow, for example, a jet or a boundary layer. You can also uh, look at the other terms. The other usage for that um, equation is, uh, as I mentioned, for the modeling. For the modeling, uh, if you do computational fluid dynamics, you need to uh, uh, some turbulence uh, models, they are modeling this equation. And uh, there are some models that are working very well with that. Uh, for example, the, the k epsilon model or k omega models, they essentially modeling, the, the k part is modeling this, this equation. 
then these parts are relatively easy to, to model because you are, have already a mean flow field. Uh, for example, the convection of the turbulent uh, kinetic energy. Um, but other terms, for example, here in particular, the triple, decom uh, triple correlation or viscous diffusion due to turbulent fluctuations, uh, dissipation, they all need to be modeled and you need to find expressions for that. And then uh, it's your essentially engineering ingenuity to, to find expressions for each of these terms. And uh, if you're doing a good job, then this equation can be used for the modeling of your turbulent flow. All right, um, so this concludes um, the part of the energy. Uh, it is, uh, uh, you're going to see the, the energy equation is a quite powerful tool for, for you to, to analyze uh, these, uh, these flows. And it explains a few things. And uh, for, for example, if you look at uh, standard flows like, uh, like a jet, it explains a few things. Um, uh, how uh, how the energy is um, uh, transported and how you can apply that um, uh, or how you can predict now the, 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 the outcome how the turbulence is going to affect the flow so but uh, for that a little bit later